So I knew this was going to happen. Set up for the ISS pass in front of the moon. And there's the clouds. We'll see what happens. Now I'm going to go over some of the camera settings that I'm going to be using. Because it goes really, really fast past the moon. I am using 0.625 millisecond exposure. And that's giving me about 170 frames a second. Um, 1 hundredth of a second for those exposures. The ISS is going to go really fast. And there's clouds again. So this is going to be interesting. If you can see that, that waver. The seeing is really bad tonight. There's lots of weird cloud and moisture in the air. What just happened, the International Space Station went in between the moon and my house, and I've got it on video. I'm going to show you um, the video file. So there's the timestamp information and the frames per second and resolution. It's going to go right about there. This is um, not quite real time because it's playing every single frame. So I'm going to hit play here, and then I will pause it when I see it. There, did you see that? There it is. Let's go back frame by frame. The seeing was so bad. You can see the white thing waver. Check that out. Go back again, forward, frame by frame. I'm just using. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. There it is. Pretty sharp, actually. Silhouette that it is. So I'll hit play again so you can just watch it zip by in almost real time. There it is. And it's choppy because, um, basically, the planetary camera I'm using isn't recording in normal time. It's just recording as many frames as it can, and the uh, computer is playing as many frames as it can, you know, per second. So that's why it kind of jumps and goes quicker and slower. So, but I've got the timestamps, I've got all the files first ISS transit in the bag.